Sasa tunataka ku kumintoduzi umama hapa. Kuja hapa karibu mama tukushukuru. Tukushukuru tusonga hapa karibu tu. Hapo tu. Tukushukuru kwa kuvaa hata kama ulivaa chupa lakini you were sending a message that people needed to take care of themselves. That is the message that we got out here. That ulivaa kwa sababu nataka kulinda maisha yako na maisha ya mtoto wako na familia yako. Our humble appeal to other citizens in our great country. Learn from her. She did not sit at home with an excuse that Mimi seen a mask. She tried to improvise. We are not sure medically whether that works or not. But we are picking the message from a positive perspective. So, two things we are going to do. We are going to provide her with necessary masks. And together, as a committee, we have decided we will support her. Afanya biashara zake kule nyumbani. So, the committee here in Mombasa has awarded her 100,000 shillings to do your business in Mombasa. And try as much as you can. Stay at home. Take care of your children. County Commissioner, you will present this. Nita kukabithi hii, lakini kwa huo muda wote wa kama hii ugonjwa bado hiko, ubakia nyumbani, fanya mamba yako karibu na nyumbani. Sio? Hii ni elf miya moja. Asante. You can proceed. Go. Umebeba masks za kutosha, umepewa? Haya mpatia ni masks za kutosha na apia na majirani zake kule. Any question? Muna swali? Aya, mama enda. Okay. I have a question, and uh, this has to do with uh, this. I don't know if it's also concerned the, the county commissioner. We're both here anyway. Kuna baadhi ya wakazi wanalalamika, wanasema kwamba kuna watu, machifu, wanakuja, wanachukua majina ya watu, wanawaandikisha, wengine wanaachwa nyuma. Musimamu huko wapi? na swala hili ndalishuhulika hivi manake wanaona kwamba tutaachwa nyuma endapo kutakuwa na lockdown na kutakuwa na kusambazwa kwa vyakula so nijibu upande wangu alafu probably county commission anaweza jibu lakini the point is this what we are basically doing today is to collect data we want to know our people and we have asked both the sub county administration on the side of the county government and that the national administration on the side of the county commissioner. Just to tell us, mashinani, watu ni nani. But let me tell you, we have just concluded census. There is Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. We are going to pick information from there. We are only trying to put mechanisms in place to be able to verify, to know what wetu ni wangapi na wako wapi. Lakini nobody should be worried because... We are, we are preparing ourselves to a point when we need to go to a lockdown, or when we go to a lockdown, we know where you are and how we shall reach you. So all this is preparation. So what was singe kusuwasua? Because mungu atulinde. But when we get to a point when we lock down, hatufanya kwa msururu wa foleni, we'll go to every household. And that's the reason. Don't panic. So don't panic to ask questions. We in, Mungu atulinde but if we get to a point tunataka kuja majumbani tutakuja paka kwa doorstep and we will know who you are because we are comparing our information with that one of the National Statistics Bureau maybe you want county commissioner you want to add something nitaongezea tu kwamba hiyo ni process ya kufanya mapping na aija kamilika it's an ongoing process na sio kwamba wale wameandikishwa ndio watapewa chakula la hasha lakini ikifikia wakati wa chakula kila mtu ambaye anastahili atapewa lakini ni process tu ya kujaribu ku identify nani ago vulnerable na nani ako afadhali kidogo unajua kuna ile tunaita siasa ya chakula hautamaliza Au, kesi yake because at the end of the day kila mtu atasema ago vulnerable lakini ikifikia kwamba kweli serikali imeamua kupeana chakula kila mtu ambaye anastahili kupewa atapewa na wakati nyingi mimi wanasema ule mtu ako na uwezo ya kupiga simu Uyo mtu ayuko febaya sana. Kuna wale watu ambao kabisa hata hana simu. Uyo ndi anadeserve zaidi. Ya ule anapiga simu hapa na pale. Uyo yako sawa. Asante. Uh, Swali langu ni hivi. Umetolezea kuwa kuna muatriwa moja ambaya alifariki jana usiku. Je kwa sasa mwili wake kwa wapi. 
na hospitali hiyo kitu kipi kinaendelea kwa sasa well obviously there's a kuna national guidelines ambayo the ministry of health had, had earlier announced ambayo inafuatiliwa sisi here uh, or public health is today an implementing agent of the guidelines that are provided for by the national government more particularly ministry of health so mipango ya kuzika mwili yameanza in line with the guidelines now I, i don't know whether it is fair to mention the hospital at this point but i can tell you something has been done we've even asked our 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 experts to investigate whether that patient was handled or was provided for the care she needed at that particular private hospital and tukiona ni tofauti we'll also tell you because we're going to tell that hospital if the patient needed a ventilator na walikuwa nayo na hawakumweka tutauliza maswali so mipango yako kabambe na mimi nawashukuru kina madaktari like you've had in course general we're handling uh, six cases kuna zingine announcements tunamwachia tu mtai kagwe but they are doing a very good job and they are, they are frontliner soldiers on the ground wao ndio wanapambana na corona wewe ukisikia corona hapa unaenda hivi mimi mwenyewe nimevaa glove na mask i don't even want to shake the hand of my county commissioner hata namwambia sigusi hapa but there are people who every morning they are confronting it head on these are our nurses our doctor our clinicians who sit in hospitals waiting waiting for patients to check in so they can be looked after lazima tuwashukuru na tuombe mungu so to the doctors we really are praying for you na mungu tu ndo atawalipa mema one final question nam uh kwa majina inaitwa bonface msangi kutoka k24 kazi nzuri ambayo umeweza kufanya na pongezi kwako kwetu sio kwangu it's collective ili ni kuhusiana na pengine gharama ya vifaa hivi iwapo ile county inaweza kununua nane pengine gharama yake iko vipi kwa sasa yeah ikbal thank you a very valid question uh, mashini kama hii market value yake kama ni mpya uh, ambaye ni draga excel evita each machine costs about 6 million kenya shillings brand new so we have 10 of them uh, the value would be 60 million Uh, alafu kuna kuna mashini nyingine hapa yaitwa gas sterilizer that is to autoclave it's a new system let a system of autoclaving kufanya sterility mashini kama hii ni kama approximately 15 million kenya shillings brand new ambaye tumenunua kutoka county uh, the county budget which was given to coast province general hospital to assist in the covid only to coast general teaching referral hospital the county has allocated to us 64 million shillings to prepare us for this Uh, covid 19 coronavirus uh, fight that is there out of that we have managed to purchase eight ventilators anesthesia machines delivery bed uh, and all other consumables that might be there monitors patient stretchers unajua uh, even the mothers that are that that, that, that are pregnant or can will will deliver etc some of them may unfortunately also become covid so we need to treat them separately Okay governor sala mwisho uh, katika mpango ambao umebainisha hapa kwa pima watu kwa wingi ukijayo ningependa kuuliza kuna wahuduma wa kutosha alafu kisha serikali ya county ama ya kitaifa ndio ambayo itagaramia uh, mpango huu alafu swali lingine ni kwamba usanii wa chakula so far mmefikia wapi na apart from tomboya mtu apeleke chakula wapi ambapo ni sasa nisali. sasa nitakueleza kwa maswali mengi lakini nitakueleza kwanza i want to remind you don't ever ask me the question of what the county will do and what the national government will do we are in this together my friend sisi twajituma and where we feel we need support kutoka national government we shall ask and we continue to ask the president has pronounced himself very very clearly that he wants us to also move and that is what that is exactly what we are doing here so mipango yote ambayo tumeweka uh, yako sambamba na ile tulivyokubaliana na pale initially so mass testing national government all we will ask from them is the support you saw yesterday in partnership again with national government we've been able to uh, to announce opportunities for 90 there about new employees that will come in we are reallocating duties kwa watu wetu tunafundisha watu wetu 
So there can never be, I have never heard of a city where they have announced they have enough human resource capacity. I have never heard. I have never heard. So don't, let's not lie to ourselves that we'll get to a point where we say we have sufficient human resources. So we will never get to that point. We have to evaluate our position every other time as it evolves to Jipange so we are responsive to the demands ambazo tunazo wakati ule. Mambo ya chakula, my friend, we have had overwhelming goodwill. Food dealers, car dealers, everybody has bought food. And we are telling them they are warehouses. We, we realize that classrooms may be a bit small, even for operations. So there are warehouses in Mombasa West, there are houses in Mombasa South, warehouses, and there's one here in Ireland that is collecting a lot of food today from the corporate world or the private sector. We are saying, the point is, we need to complement each other. Yale tutafanya, national government tutafanya, na yale wewe na mimi tutafanya. And by the way, even you guys are on salaries. Ask yourself from the fourth estate, wewe mtalaki umechanga ngapi? Wewe chanju umechanga ngapi? Umelisha familia ngapi? Ama tuta uliza maswali bila kuchanga? Wewe Karim Rajan, you have how many neighbors? How many of those neighbors have you looked after? Or oh, umetoa mchangu wako kiasi gani? All of us have a responsibility. That is why you see Mweshimi Mwenye here. We are even asking the MP.